today we will be looking at David's magnificent Oath of the Horashi. It is an incredibly influential piece painted in Rome before the French Revolution in 1784. That's exactly right. It had a very powerful impact on the French Revolution as it became a symbol for the revolution. Here, David is going back to the ancient Roman and Greek art. We see the neoclassical art in this piece as it is totally rationalized, unlike that of the Rococo. In this painting, David tells a story of three brothers that make an oath to their father that they will die for their city. Absolutely correct. It is apparent that the three Horayashi brothers have been chosen to fight for Rome against the neighboring city of Alba, the Kiryashi. No, but the Horayashi brothers are also taking an oath to their father, exhibited by the swords in his hands. Yes, very true. I also think that their hands coming out also show their oath towards their father. Yes, and also their posture is upright and strong. They are ready to give up their lives for the good of Rome. The angle of light emphasizes the muscularity of the male figures as it comes across the surface of their bodies. Don't forget about the woman. The woman in the corner are the exact opposite. They are more sorrowful and weepy and have a very curvy composition to them. This shows the idea that women were not capable of heroic sacrifice. I disagree with you on that one. I wouldn't call it sexism. Well then, what would you call it? Well, the women are more concerned with their family and are wrapped up in their emotions. It just means they're sensitive. Whatever. But there's a very interesting story involving one of the Horashi women. One Horashi sister was married to a Kiryashi. In fact, her husband was killed by one of her Horashi brothers. And she cursed Rome for this reason. But her brother, angered by her actions, killed her. Yes. Although it was cruel, it shows the great value of one's own city and state during the time. In this painting, David uses geometric positioning innovated from the ancient Greeks and the Italian Renaissance, having an ideal space with everything painted very clearly. Absolutely. This would be a magnificent painting to see in person. Yes, in fact, we can see this painting in the Louvre in Paris today. That concludes today's artistic debate. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.